It is the season for holiday cards. Yep, my mailbox is filling up fast with sweet greetings from near and far. Back in 2015, 1.6 billion holiday cards were sold and why their popularity has declined just slightly in recent years thanks to social media and email. Some people still like sending and receiving good old snail mail in December. So today's Lauren's List breaks down the mistakes to avoid before stuffing and stamping those envelopes. First up, you don't want to send them too late. If you want your card to arrive before Christmas, you better get to work. The absolute last day to send first class mail to arrive before the 25th is December 20th. Of course, you probably want it to arrive even earlier than that as many people display their cards throughout the holiday season. Now, don't skip photos. Let's be real, cards are nice, but during the holidays, people love pictures. You don't have to have a fancy photo shoot, but including a photo or two is a nice touch and usually guarantees the card will be displayed, even briefly, rather than just tossed into the recycling bin right after Christmas. You'll get more bang for your buck that way. Next up, wrong name. No, not the name of the recipient, but your own family name. You'd be surprised how many people sign their cards incorrectly. If you're signing it from the Pastranas, you don't need an apostrophe between the final A and S. If your name doesn't end with an S, simply add one. And if it already ends in an S or a Z, Maribel, add ES, or just say it's from the Rodriguez family, not Rodriguez's, you know, to avoid this conundrum completely. And finally, punctuation problems. Speaking of apostrophes, remember seasons greetings does need one between the N and the S in seasons, but if you're saying Happy New Year, there's no need to add an apostrophe S at the end of that, not Happy New Year's. Just one year. Do you send out holiday cards? Tell me on Facebook or Twitter if you have an idea for a future Lauren's List. Send it my way too.